Yeah. All right. So we have a continuation here of a topic that we touched on last week. Killer Cam Cameron is now responding to all of the people who went at him for criticizing a Michael B. Jordan, Jonathan Majors photo shoot. So we touched on this on the channel last week. Uh, Michael B. Jordan and, jo and Jonathan Majors, they're in Creed Three, and they were a part of a they were a part of a, a photo shoot that Cameron, you know, saw as sort of um, deviating from what, you know, a man should be doing, you know, deviating from traditional masculinity. Right. And we agreed with Cameron on that. Uh, we thought that that was a suspect photo, but we understand what's going on. Uh, liberal, hyper liberal, you know, westernized society is trying to deconstruct masculinity for whatever reason. Uh, the West is obsessed with feminizing men. Um, and, you know, old school people like myself, Dogon SS and Cameron, we don't necessarily agree with that. We think it's the wrong move. But, you know, Cameron put up, put a post out on Instagram with that photo saying, uh, this is why I don't go see Creed 3. And we had all of these people coming out at Cameron saying, why does it have to be like that? You know, why can't two black men show affection for one another without it questioning their masculinity and why this is the problem with society and the world and blah 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 so you know cameron was effectively attempt you know there were you know the the liberal machine was attempting to you know cancel cameron at least on social media and cameron had a response for all of them and so uh you know shouts out to cameron cameron has become a friend of the channel because yeah, yeah, we've yeah. not talked about Cameron. I think this is the third time that we've talked about Cameron on this channel. Yeah, man. And, and and you know, I, I'm more of a fan of Cameron now than I ever was when he was an active rapper. And so we'll go ahead and show Cameron's response to all of the people coming at him on social media. As you can see on the right side of the screen, that is the post that he put up. You can read the caption. It says, the reason I don't go see Creed. And people went crazy calling him all kind of stuff and basically saying that he's a part of the problem. We, of course, disagree. We think Cameron is part of the solution. <laughs> so right. uh, here's Cameron's response, and then we'll give our two cents once the video is done. Niggas talk about they going to cancel somebody. How the fuck you going to cancel niggas who cancel they self, nigga? The fuck is you talking about? My mom got sick 2007. I said, fuck the old music shit. I ain't give a fuck. And Killer Season just went quadruple platinum and left the whole music business. When you quit, murder, how many you sold after you left? <laughs> seven million? Mm. My nigga sold seven million and quit. Blue. You can't cancel <laughs> niggas who cancel themselves and don't give a fuck. We left when we wanted to leave. Fuck cancel culture. We started it with ourselves, nigga. Sounds stupid. I would quadruple platinum on killer season and said, fuck everybody. My mom said, I, go, I come back when I'm ready. Murder sold five million records and say, I'm going to preach. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. You can't cancel niggas. We started cancel culture with ourselves. The fuck is you talking about? And we going, you can't, can't dumb my shit down. I don't care what people think. You can't. Oh, these people are gonna be mad. These people gonna be mad. I don't care. I don't care who gets me. You have the opportunity not to look at what I'm doing or to unfollow me. But you're not gonna follow. You won't come back for some more shit. I don't care, man. That's the way it is, my nigga. It is what it is. Either follow or don't. It is mad other shit out there you can watch. You can watch street fights. You can watch Shark Week. You can watch a <laughs> nigga said Shark Week. <laughs> somebody. How the uh, you know he old school. You talking about Shark Week? Why ain't nobody watching? <laughs> <laughs> I loved every second of that, man. I loved every second of that. And yeah, you can go watch Shark Week. Get off his back. <laughs> Shark Week still rates out here in these streets every year when they do that on on them channels. Uh, but yeah, man. So what 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 did you think of what Cam had to say, man? Killer season, four times platinum, baby. Well, listen, man. One thing about <laughs> Cam, all right. 
you know, uh, he gets the boosters boosting and uh, <laughs> he gets computers puking, man. Um, so, um, you know, if I get shot at, you know, I can call him. He'll do the shooting. <laughs> so, and if I'm not mistaken, I think he also tutors the students. So one thing about Cam, he's the man. All right. And you can't ban him. <laughs> so I'm 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 here for it all um, because he approached this as he should, you know, uh, in your face Harlem style. So y'all can try to cancel him if you want. All right. <laughs> but you can't cancel somebody who said something. That knows he, he knows he can get canceled for saying it. So you can't cancel somebody who's not afraid to be canceled. When people ask, the, the new buzz thing is, what is a woman? If you're on the fence as a person and you go, whoa, hey, I ain't answering that. The hell you mean you're not answering that? What is a woman, man? That's a trick question. How is that a trick question? You're afraid of being canceled? If I ask Killer Cam, what's a woman? He's going to give me a hell of a definition, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> right. And it's going to be a woman. And he's not afraid to say what he's got to say. And we need more of that in today's world. You know, um, I don't know what kind of Orwellian uh, present we're living in where self-censorship is uh, at its apex. And people can't be afraid to say what they want to say. Now, there are things that are insensitive culturally and unsensitive when it comes to, you know, you know, you got to use things, you know, use discretion whenever you're speaking. But at the same time, we're not going to go around out here and walk on eggshells to preserve the feelings of somebody just because, you know, you said that a woman is somebody that's born a female. Or a man who's hugging a man a little bit too closely is a little too suspect for me. I'm not going to watch this movie because I don't know what kind of agenda you guys are pushing. So I'm not going to support you guys pushing an agenda that I don't support. I feel like everybody does that. Even the people on the far extreme left have their own opinions about what traditional things are and they're not afraid to unmute and say what they have to say but everybody else isn't canceling them for having their opinions so why should we get canceled if we don't co-sign what they're doing we're not calling anybody any slurs we're not saying anybody has to die we're not saying anything like that we're just saying simply we don't like it so the mere fact that somebody's whole career, livelihood, and everything else can get tarnished just by their personal opinion is absolutely asinine. So Cameron coming out and unmuting and saying what he has to say and attacking those that had something to say about his opinion, uh, I'm all for it, and I co-sign 1,000%. So you, sir, do you agree yeah, with Mr. Bro. Cam here? Bro, Cameron is, you said last guy gets the award for man of the year. I think we should put Cameron in a running for man of the year. Too. I, I agree. I agree. You know, <laughs> and, and the, the, the thing that I hate the most about what I call hyper liberalism hmm. is that canceling something should go both ways. So trust and believe you can be liberal and say something reprehensible. Yes, you should right. get canceled just as much for that as a person who's conservative or traditional saying something that you don't like. Agreed. And the point with all of this is at the end of the day, as I've said many times before, it's all about disagreeability. Mm -hmm. Stop getting so triggered that you want somebody to get fired because they said something that at the most is disagreeable. Go outside and live a life and stop being triggered by everything all the damn time. No one's coming for your life. We talked about Don Lemon a few weeks ago, and even though Don Lemon is a robot, yeah, nevertheless, they tried to get nevertheless, people tried to get and, and and let me be clear that when I when I refer to canceling, 
I'm referring to somebody being stripped of their livelihood. That's what I refer to when I talk about canceling. So, mm-hmm. cause I don't give a day. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure Don Lemon, you know, doesn't really care like that. If people don't like what he has to say, yeah. but if he ends up getting fired from CNN, that is in my opinion, canceling him because he said something that people don't like. It was disagreeable. And now he's out of a livelihood that he worked to earn. It wasn't given to him. He went to school. He got his education. He worked up the ranks. He worked to earn this. And now you want to take that away because he says something that you don't agree with. That's bullshit. But that only works one way. And it works the way of if the conservative says something that's 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 disagreeable. But be that as it may, they tried to get they tried to get Don Lemon for saying on national television, you're out of your prime if you're a woman in your 50s. So this has gone so far beyond the pale. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and that that's why this stuff needs to go away. But Cameron is 100% correct. And, you know, when Cameron was talking about how he got out of the, uh, how he got out of the rap game when he wanted to, how he did this musically and stuff. And so he left on his own accord. He wasn't trapped in a, in a record deal where he had to put out a bunch of albums in order to be released from bondage. You know, he wasn't trapped on some bullshit entertainment contract where the record label or the A&Rs or whomever else was getting half of everything that he did as the artist, Mm -hmm. right? He wasn't trapped in any of these ridiculous deals that a lot of these rappers out here get trapped in. He left on his own accord. And so therefore you cannot, I'm I'm, I'm the bearer of my own checks. I write my own checks. Therefore, you cannot get rid of me. I do what I want because I write my own checks. And that's the seminal message that people need to take away from this. And that's why Dave Chappelle doesn't give a shit. That's why Dave Chappelle dug in. He, he doesn't care how much you don't like his, what you think are transphobic jokes, because I don't think they're transphobic. But what y'all think are transphobic phobic jokes, he doesn't care how much you don't like them. Mm -hmm. Because he owns his own deals. Netflix pays him to do stand-up specials, and he earns all of the money for the right to put his stuff on Netflix. Netflix don't make the most of that cut. He does. He runs that. He owns Chappelle's show now. That's why Chappelle's show was taken down off of Netflix, and they stopped running it on Comedy Central. Because Dave Chappelle was like, if I don't own my own creation, nobody gets to watch it. So you will give me what I have earned because I own this. And then I will let you have the right to show it because I'm giving you that permission because I own it. So people like Chappelle are so adamant about ownership because it gives him the ability to be transphobic and not give a damn. Whereas some of these other people who are run by machines have to guard everything they say because they could have their livelihood stripped from, from them and in effect get canceled, Kevin Hart. Hmm. So what I took away from this and what Cam, because Cam is the bearer of his own checks. He owns himself. They run that little podcast over there. They bring their little people on there. He got killing, you got murder mace on there doing his own thing. They don't have to worry about getting fired. They put that production on themselves and they retain the vast majority of of the profits, the proceeds from it. You can't cancel somebody who writes their own checks. You're not canceling Dave Chappelle. That's why Nick Cannon was able to get his stuff back. They wanted to get rid of Nick Cannon because they feel like Nick Cannon is uh, anti-Semitic, even though he wasn't being that. He he wasn't really being anti-Semitic. But, hey, you say something about a protected species or we're going to cancel you. So they wanted to get rid of him. They wanted to get rid of Vi- Viacom. Got rid of him. Fired him. He owns Wildin' Out. You can't, can't, you can't get rid of him. So what did he do? He said, "Look, I own all of this. If you get rid of me, these programs go away. These programs rate for you. Therefore, it behooves you to keep me here because I'll take my IPs and go elsewhere." Mm-hmm. And they got shook, and they were like, "Oh, we got to bring him back. Just apologize, and we'll call it even." Okay, fine. I'll give you that. Now he's back. He still hosts his show. What's that show he hosts? Mass Singer or whatever he got going on with that. He's the mm-hmm. host. 
He and then he still does the walling out, and he still has all of this other stuff that he got going on. Nick Cannon don't give a damn about throwing a little money away. That's why he can have 13, 14, 15,000 kids. He don't give a shit. Y'all probably it's probably people who want to cancel Nick Cannon because he got so many kids by so many different women. Oh, yeah. You know what he can afford to continue to do? Have as many kids as he wants. You can't get rid of him. He owns his shit. So that's my point. Is like all y'all with this canceling stuff, y'all don't like disagreeable points of view. Y'all want to fire this person, make this person go to counseling. Y'all want to get rid of this person. Y'all want to get mad at Cameron because he said a reasonable critique about that suspect ass photo shoot with those two Holly weird people. And y'all want to cancel him. But you can't because no one owns them. So boo hoo the fool on y'all, y'all hyper liberal left wing zealots out there who just want to get touched and offended and, and just, you know, triggered by every little thing that comes down the pike in this free speech society, supposedly, <laughs> where people can are supposed to be able to say and do whatever they want so long as it is not infringing on people's civil liberties. And opinions of this nature don't do that. So who looks more foolish, the one getting canceled or the one who's attempting to do the canceling? I say it's the one who's attempting to do the canceling. Right. But I I say, team, I'm camped. I'm killing. Look, man, I went through Spotify this past week and I listened to every camera on album on Spotify. <laughs> because it's, I, I'm more of a fan of camera now than I was when he was rapping. Yeah. Because, because you're not. That's what I'm about. Don't cancel people. So, you know, all y'all out there who want to be able to say whatever you want and you're, you know, shackled and chained by this machine, this the liberal agenda, ownership is the key. You know, own the right to your own IPs, your properties. The, the, the classic age-old thing that we used to look at when we came to these rappers is which of the rappers owns their own masters because so many of them didn't. It was only a very few percentage of the rappers who owned the rights to their own music that they created sadly weirdly and so you know that this is an offshoot of that uh you know people be the bearer of your own checks right and you talk all the time about being a boss and not being somebody who punches the clock being a, a drone you know right. orwellian is very apropos yeah. uh you can throw 19 you can throw 1984 in there uh mm -hmm. the fountainhead by ann ran all of these things that people wrote books about decades ago this stuff is happening today so mm -hmm. if you don't want to be bound by this ridiculous cancel culture system that they're trying to put in place to push liberalism, then just be an owner. Because when you're an owner, you can do whatever the fuck you want and nobody can get rid of you and you can make your money and you can find your niche where you're going to get your support and be able to continue to do what you're doing. Because as quietly as it's kept, the majority of the people out here do still side on the side of traditionalism and fairness and reason not all of this hyper liberal stuff that's in the mainstream media and in social media world the 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 vocal minority yes so yeah i'm team cam all day on this and you know i hope he continues to push this uh we will feature cameron and his podcast and that channel more and more as these sorts of stories come up but yeah i'm rocking with it all the way yeah man well said i agree 100 and the reason and if anybody wants to look at the country right now the current state of the economy you know just go try to buy some gas right now matter of fact go go grocery shopping for you and yours all right and tell me what tell me what uh your, your bank statement looked like afterwards all right go try to pay some rent or pay a mortgage the reason the country the way it is right now the way the the reason the country is the way that it is right now is because men aren't men anymore period and how do we get here Feminism and emasculation all over the place. And men have been emasculated. Now, see, I was in this space where I was only looking at the 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 trauma and the the uh the the trials of black people. So I was always paying attention to black men being emasculated on film. But as of recently, probably like in the last five years, um, I started just looking abroad. And every man is being emasculated. And the country is where it's at right now because men aren't men. It's very subtle attacks like these photos that Michael B. Jordan and Jonathan Majors are taking. They are so hugged up. Oh, they're just friends. Since when? 
since when did men that were friends get this close up on each other like this? This is a subtle attack to the subconscious. Because I can guarantee you, the more and more a man keeps rubbing up on another man's muscles like this, the more and more a man keeps getting all close and intimate with their friend like this, the more and more they're going to enjoy it. I, you know, I had a friend, I had a friend, because we were talking about, you know, all kinds of stuff. And, you know, we were talking about whatever. I told her, I said, hey, no anal play. <laughs> I don't do that. She said, good. Because I don't want no man that want that, want that. You know. And I, because women want a man. And something about anal play ain't ain't right. But, you know, you'll get the, the Gabrielle Union, D-Wade situations where, you know, people are doing stuff like that. But look what look how Wade is raising his child now yeah. because he does stuff like that. And so, oh, because all these passes, you can't give no passes to stuff like that. And she said, well, why, why won't you? Why won't you? You say, so you won't even try? I said, no. And, and, and the, the LGBT community might love me when I say this, but I might like it. Now, hold on, pause. Now, so here, here's the thing. People are sexual, period. That's why there's just gay people. Because you only have to do it and you like it. And then now all of a sudden, you like gay stuff. So, anal, like you, men don't, men, you can't, you can't stimulate that part of your body, period. And if you're a man, you know not to. So eventually, that's how that's how dudes go to prison, get turned out. Eventually, mm -hmm. like man butt before, but, but they didn't like man butt before. Or 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 boys that get molested when they're younger, and all of a sudden they're gay when they get older because they didn't like it when it was happening, but they got stockholmed into enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Everybody is sexual, and that's the that's the whole crux with this whole gay thing in the first place. Oh, they were born gay. No, you weren't born. You were born sexual. But there's a there's a way of doing life that promotes more life. And there's rules and guidelines that were set in place a long time ago. And then we had these religions that enforce these things because humans have been around for a very long time. And so what religion did, religion put certain parameters in place. So people don't do behaviors that degradate society. So don't do homosexuality. Don't do this. Don't do that. Why? Because societies crumble after that. That's mm -hmm. why. And you don't want your society to crumble, period. Now that we're introducing all of this anal play and all of this, hey, you can do whatever you want. All of a sudden, the as soon as that stuff started to spike, then society has started, the Western society has started to go into the pits. I scream, I scream that that's a hell of a coincidence and they're correlated. If men were actually being men, they would fight against certain things. But if they're, if they're emasculated and they're more on the feminine spectrum, receiving instead of giving, they'll take this punishment given by the state and they'll take this punishment given by corporatocracy. So the less and less man you are, the less and less you defend yourself and your family and your homeland. So these types of things are subtle attacks to the subconscious. They don't work on us. That's for, This is for your kids. Yeah. So another mm -hmm. thing, like, uh, you know, I just heard the other day, Mr. Beast, one of the biggest YouTubers out there. His homeboy, whatever, Tyson, all right, is transitioning over. He got a divorce from his wife, taking hormone replacements. Now he's non-binary -buried, and transitioning. That's not for us. We don't watch Mr. Beast. So who are those hundreds of millions of subscribers? It's for yeah. my nephew. It's for my 12-year-old yeah. nephew. Exactly. Yeah. It's for kids. Just like the, the Bud Light VP that we covered the other day, Correct. that we're targeting a new generation. Correct. Younger drinkers. That's right. Young drinkers. Yep. That's right. And they're targeting that group of people. The ones that 
are coming up with this convoluted version of what sexuality is. Now imagine, are they going to defend their homeland? Or are they going to be so caught up in their sexuality that you're just having furry sex all day? <laughs> so I brought I brought this whole thing up, all right, just to say that Cameron's not jumping the gun. He's not overreacting. It's just a picture, man. Calm down. They're best friends. It's deeper than that. And Cameron saw it. I'm not supporting it because that's not being man no more. So I say the same thing, man, uh, to hell with can cancel culture. And just like how you mentioned, hey, own yourself. And if you own yourself, right, you don't have to listen to no machine that's trying to push an agenda on you and your family. So yeah. a lot said there. But yeah, take what take take what I said there, you know, and Paul, yeah. God damn it. Somebody gonna take my shit out of context and say, hey, don't gonna say he's gonna like it. It's like, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, we uh, I I know what you were trying to say, but you're right. <laughs> and part part of the one of the ancillary um you know uh, byproducts of this emasculation is a lower propensity for people to be an owner in some capacity. That's right. uh, because I believe that if you are, as a man, emasculated, there is a higher likelihood that you're going to be, uh, yeah, you're, yes, you're going to be more comfortable with being subservient. That's right. So, you know, it, it's, it, 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 you know, I'm not necessarily going to argue causation because I don't know which one calls what that's more of a chicken of the egg type thing, but mm -hmm. is there a correlation? Yes. 100% absolutely. And yeah. I, I don't know how anyone who is not biased can look at this stuff and actually think that this is for the better. I, I don't know how you can think that, but hey, man, you got a lot of people out here who will listen to what we're saying here on this channel, and they're saying, and they'll say that we're being, what, what will they say, intolerant, bigots, whatever, or if, you know, homophobes, transphobes, whatever. I don't give a damn. Uh, I own this, so you're not going to get rid of me. <laughs> um, so it is what it is, man. Like we look. At the most, these things are disagreeable points of view. People need to get over it. Go outside, walk the dog, drink a glass of wine, go to the movies, go on a date with your significant other. You know what I'm saying? Take a walk in the park, go to the gym, go work out, go to the grocery store, go live life and stop being triggered because Cameron said he's not going to go watch Creed 3 because he is not going to support a very homoerotic photo between two supposedly <laughs> heterosexual men. Um, you know, whether you like the fact that I agree with Cameron, but I don't even give a shit whether you agree with him or not. The point is, it's disagreeable. So go figure out something to do and stop crying all the time about trying to get people canceled because exactly. you're not going to cancel somebody who can't be canceled because he already canceled himself. He owns his shit. So... Mm -hmm. Um, it is what it is, but yeah, I'm team Cameron all day, mm -hmm. and uh, it's refreshing. Um, mm -hmm. Cameron will never be on Sports Center, he'll never be on ESPN, uh, he'll never be on CNN, he might be on Fox News, and then black people will say that he's a sellout because he's on Fox News, <laughs> right. uh, you know what I'm saying? It, isn't it crazy how this stuff works? Yeah, so man. you know, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. It's like there's nothing these days, there's no sort of public facing move that you can make from a from a message disseminating standpoint in which you're safe unless you parrot the speech you've got to parrot speech so cameron is proudly on the side of reasonability and tradition but if he goes on fox news black people will turn on him because they'll say he's against black people because of, apparently fox news is racist allegedly so you know it's just this stuff is all crazy. It's out of control. It's it's just gone way off the rails. But at the end of the day, you don't have to worry about what can happen to your livelihood and the things that you've worked to earn when you strategically position yourself to be the bearer of your own checks, own your own shit, and you don't have nothing to worry about. So um, it is what it is, man. Go Cam. That's, okay. that's it. It's, it's 1984, bro. Yeah. <laughs> man. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I remember reading The Fountainhead in high school, and I was like, "No way!" I read that thing again like two years ago. We're living in that right yes. now. Yes. And for anyone who does not know, go pick the book up. It's by Anne Rand. Uh, it's called The Fountainhead. It's a very classic book. Please read it. It might scare some of y'all straight. 
<laughs> Literally. <laughs> no pun intended. 